Hi everybody, this is Yaroslav and Lilia Belay, and today we are going to talk about bronze quick step. We have prepared a little piece of routine for you that you can practice your skills in, but as well you could input this piece in your competition routine. It contains a lot of authentic quick step steps such as zigzag and quarter turn, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this choreography together with us. And now the figures. Quarter turn to the slow. right. Quick, quick, slow. Quarter slow. turn to the left. Quick, quick, slow. Natural slow. spin turn. Quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Reverse pivot. Slow. Chassis slow. reverse. Quick, quick, slow. Reverse pivot. Slow. Cross chassis. Quick, quick, slow. Forward lock. Quick, quick, slow. Simple chassis quick, to the right. Quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Natural slow. turn with hesitation. Quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow. Double slow, reverse spin turn. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Zigzag. Slow, back slow, lock. Quick, quick, slow. Run and finish. Slow, quick, quick. And now we're gonna take a look at the men's step. And seven, eight. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, 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 slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. And now we're going to take a look at the ladies' steps. Seven, eight, slow, quick, Quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. All right, let's get to work. So looking at routine of closed bros quick step that we just offered you, we would like to uh, mention three main things that will be very helpful and we are going to uh, work on today. Those are rotations, shoulder leads, and clarity of uh, timing in order to redirect our movement. First thing we are going to talk about is rotation. The main reason for us to do rotation is to change the direction. In order to do that, we would like to uh, show you one exercise that will be extremely helpful for you, so you can feel more of uh, isolations in your body parts, and then it will really improve your skills in rotation. Okay, so the first, the first exercise here is... Uh, First, we have to be very clear which part of the body we can or cannot rotate when we are dancing to change the direction. So, first body part that we have to isolate will be our ribcage, and we also can rotate our head or, to be very clear, our skull around our spine. Uh, now, me and Lilia, we will uh, show you the exercise and then I would like to just point out a few things. So, first exercise is we're going to stay feet shoulder width apart, our uh, legs slightly bent, and now we are going to rotate our ribcage to the left and to the right in the isolated way from our pelvis and our head as well. So our head and pelvis will be always uh, facing the camera and our ribcage will be rotating to the left, neutral and to the right. So first we would like to show you that exercise. You can put your hands on your ribcage and just do it with us. Lily, are you ready? Yes, let's count it. Okay, so we're gonna go and one to the left, neutral, to the right, neutral, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Now I'd like to ask Lilia to keep doing this exercise and I just will uh, show you a few, few things as she will be doing it. So first thing is, we need to isolate our rib cage uh, from our head. So as you can see, as Lilia doing her rotations, her head is always still facing the camera. Now, uh, again, the body part that she rotates is the rib cage. Now, when she initiates her rotation from uh, this uh, body part, if you can do it very, very slowly, please, yeah. So as she doing it, at some point her pelvis doesn't move and then as she keeps on going her maximum rotation to the right this is where her pelvis will react to that rotation and this is what has to happen as we're dancing so now if you're doing to the left as you can see she rotated her ribcage to the left her pelvis is still and as she keeps on going now her pelvis joins the rotation this is a very important sequence of actions that I think everybody has to understand in order to create uh, good movement together with rotation and as you're doing it together with your partner you will always uh, you will always uh, have correct lead and follow togetherness and uh, it's going to be much more comfortable and much easier Yes. I would like just to point out that when we do that exercise with rotation, uh, we would need to have a very good posture. If we have a proper alignment, then we're going to have a good uh, range and a proper isolation in our body parts. So when we're going to do that exercise, if I'm going to stay sideways to you here, or Yaroslav is going to stay okay. sideways as well, we must make sure that our spines are upright. When we flex our legs slightly, our centers are going to be pulled slightly in and up, and then our rib cages are going to be right above our pelvis. So when we rotate, we must really feel that excess and... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> we must really feel that excess, which our spine is, and therefore our rib cage is going to be at its maximum range when it rotates. Correct. Now, before we start pointing out moments where exactly we rotate in our routine, I just want to add that particularly in bronze choreographies and bronze level routines, we have very simple steps, but this is a great chance for us to practice those fundamental body actions that are then going to be met in your open routines and they will help you tremendously in order to do more difficult steps. So the earlier you start learning those rotations and all other necessary body actions, the easier it will be for you to progress into something more difficult. And even when you do bronze routines, we find when we don't have any body actions, when we just try to do steps, it actually feels very difficult. So if we really apply our full range body actions, we have so much easier movement, we have more momentum, we create more power, we use more natural forces as we create more torques in our body. So it must be much easier once you learn how to rotate your rib cages. And of course, preparing this lecture for you, we've been doing this closed bronze quick step choreography for some time and uh, we find out how important it is to understand and to be clear about the different actions and sequence of actions in our body in order to actually get this choreography right. As Lilia said, you're just trying to do the steps on time. It's much more difficult uh, than you are doing the steps and body actions on top of it. So actually, the more stuff we do here, the easier it is. I don't know if it makes sense, but we had that we experienced this ourselves as we were dancing this uh, routine. Routine, yes. Yeah. All right. So first, uh, first uh, steps where we can show you uh, where our rotation takes part will be quarter turns, and as we will be going through through the routine, you will see that there are many many occasions where we are going to do that. All right. So yes. let's start with the quarter turns, and then just go just go through that routine quickly. All right, so we are going to, we are going to uh, have pr our practice hold. Now, as we, as we go approach our quarter turn, so our first rotation will be slow. Now, I'm here in central balance between uh, two legs. Now, as I'm going around Lilia, we will, we will start our rotation from the first step to the second step, and now we are closing our feet, all right? 
So one more time. I'm going to do it a little bit faster this time. So I'm going to go slow rotation, quick, quick. Now, as you can also see, right now my feet and my head points the same alignment, but my body turned to the right. So I'm really isolating my ribcage from my head and my pelvis. And now I finish this step quick. Now the next step. And now Lilia will be on the outside edge of the turn. So her rotation will be more pronounced here. So we're going slow, quick, quick. And of course, men must do a heel pivot here. Now heel pivot is a subject of another lecture. Now from here, as we're going uh, to, the, to the next step, we will see as we're dancing it uh, together that we have momentum that will keep on rotate us to the left here. What we must do, we must use that momentum, isolate our body in order to finish that step. And then again, we have our natural spin turn. So again, I'm going step in between two feet. Now I start my rotation to the right, keep on rotating. It becomes a side step and then we lower here. Now I just would like to do it one more time faster. Lily, I hope you don't mind that I'm talking and counting no, right now fine. more. Yeah, I just would like to do it faster for the sake of you guys seeing our momentum, the one I was uh, talking about. So momentum can be our best friend or our worst enemy if we, if we uh, don't use it correctly. So we are doing it one more time and I'm going slow rotation, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So as you can see on this moment, at this moment where I was going backwards after heel pivot, I turned to the left and I have this part. So we must not fight with this momentum. Let it happen in your rib cage first and then use it to go to the right. Okay? Very good, <laughs> yes. And uh, let's do it on the other side so we can see what lady's job will be. Okay. So we are going to go into the quarter turns, step back on slow, rotation to the right, and quick, quick, slow. So body is now rotated to the right. Another step forward, slow, commence rotation to the left in the ribcage, quick, quick, continue rotating to the left, slow. Now into the half a natural turn or a natural spin turn, slow rotation to the right, quick, quick, lower. Good, so this little piece, the beginning of our bronze quick step routine, as you can see, we have rotation to the right, rotation to the left, and rotation to the right again as we start the natural spin turn. So there's a lot of a lot of flexibility in our rib cages. And again, as Yaroslav said, don't fight that momentum. Really go with it. As long as you isolate from your pelvis, you're going to be good. <laughs> All right. So now the next step we are going to do will be natural spin turn, followed by reverse pivot. Uh, reverse turn. Reverse turn and another reverse pivot. So for us, in order to do that pivot in action correctly, the very popular mistake that we see a lot of people are doing, they're doing their pivot in action only with their feet, and for some reason they're totally froze, and they are not doing anything in their upper body, which I think is the really a mistake, because that's the moment where you start fighting with your momentum, and it becomes, again, this bronze choreography can be quite simple or very, very difficult. So we, don't, we want it for you to be very simple. So now, we finish here on our uh, natural turn. We're gonna do the spin turn. So, men will have a pivot in action on the next step, left foot uh, backwards. So in order to do that, I am going to commence my, uh, my uh, turn here. I'm going backwards. Now, together with that pivot, I will do the pivot in action, but also I will have quite a big amount of rotation with my upper body, just the way we just explained. So we're gonna do it and rotation, slow, slow, slow. Now for the reverse pivot, same thing. Now make sure in reverse pivot, man, you put your heel of the left foot down. Otherwise this will be considered as a technical mistake. Now I'm going backwards, commence the turn. I will do my rotation, my pivot in action together with the rotation of my body. Now we're gonna do turn in chasse. Chasse reverse. Correct. Yes. So we're gonna go <laughs> slow, quick, 
quick. Again, I'm putting the heel down, going to that reverse pivot, doing pivot in action and rotation with my body. And again, I must not fight the momentum for the next step, which is cross chasse. Slow, quick, quick. And here comes shoulder lead. And here comes shoulder lead, but maybe uh, before that, yeah. we're gonna face the camera, camera this way. Basically, I feel that it's a little bit unfair because man does all the pivoting stuff. And then lady is not doing as much <laughs> it pivots here. So we're gonna go slow, quick, quick. Slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. So of course, although men do activate all the body actions and we must listen to the timing of our partner's rotation, as ladies, we also must do all those actions by ourselves. He doesn't hold his hands on our rib cages to rotate us. When we dance parallel to the man, we have to mirror his actions completely. So when we feel the rotation comes from the upper body, we must follow that and mirror that rotation in our upper body. So whatever Yaroslav has explained right now for the men's steps, uh, the same body actions apply to the ladies. So if we do just one more time, uh, the same piece, uh, the natural spin turn. I'm going to step forward and rotate to the right. Continue rotating my upper body to the right, to the right. Now reverse pivot. See here, I'm going to start rotating that ribcage once I feel the impulse from him to the left. Now reverse turn, reverse chasse. Continue left, left, left. Pivot more left into the first step of cross chasse. Left, right, right. And that brings us to a shoulder lead position for the next outside partner step. I have a feeling that Lilia wants to explain the shoulder lead because she got too excited about it. All right, now shoulder lead is something that happens in our shoulder girdle and it is the rotation of our shoulders basically together with the arm line in order for us to create an outside partner step. So here is the golden rule for all the dancers. Whenever you have an outside partner step, you must have a step before, you must have a shoulder lead. So one of the shoulders will be pointing forward as you're going to go forward in outside partner or backwards as your partner is going uh, in the outside partner position. Uh, not many people know that, but Lily is a shoulder lead police. <laughs> so when somebody doesn't do the shoulder lead... If you this, skip it, I notice. If you skip it, it strikes her and she, she will know that, trust me. That Anywhere in the world you are, she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna feel it. <laughs> He's joking, of course. But I'm not joking. The reason for shoulder lead, uh, why shoulder lead is so essential is again, because we, uh, that's the reason for us to create an outside partner step. If there is no shoulder lead, let's say if man is going to take a step forward, we're just going to walk. If he just takes few walks, uh, more, more space. space. If he just takes few walks without any shoulder lead, as you can see, his right foot is stepping in line. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a mistake. So, his right foot is going to step in line if he has no shoulder lead. Now, the moment he wants to step outside partner here, he must create a shoulder lead rotation, and then he will have space to step outside of me. And the same thing, I'm going to have space to step outside once I have this left shoulder pointing forwards. And again, if I'm square in my shoulders towards the direction of movement, I'm going to step in line in between my partner's feet. Let's show the mistake. If we do it wrong without a shoulder lead... <laughs> I actually already did show the mistake. Yes, first of all, the lady will never feel when you are going to prepare an outside partner step. So for us, it's going to come as an absolutely terrible surprise, which we don't want because we're going not to... Not good. <laughs> ...not follow you. So, uh, again, if the man does something like that... Do I do a mistake? Yes, let's do a mistake. Okay, let's do one step, then mistake. Okay. So no shoulder lead, stop. Now, if I go away, probably. <laughs> you will see that Yaroslav is in a quite crooked position. So you can see that he's misaligned, his ribcage has shifted off his pelvis and we are already yeah, I don't like this. here. So that's the reason in order for us to step outside partner, maintain good position and not to confuse each other, when we're going to prepare that step we must always have a shoulder lead. All right. So now we are going to our cross chasse, we remember that. Now, for the cross chasse, again, we have to do the shoulder lead on time. In this particular step, particular combination, on time is almost right away. So we're gonna go 
slow, quick shoulder lead, quick. Now from here we, are, we can go forward, slow, quick, quick, slow, do the lock step, do the natural turn here, slow, quick, quick, and we go slow, quick, quick, slow, Another quick, shoulder lead. quick, slow. Another shoulder lead will happen here before the next step. As you can already see, I am uh, in it automatically. Now from here, and slow, quick, quick. And again, we have a hesitation change that requires rotation to the right and the side step here. Now, after that uh, hesitation change, as we are doing the side step, our next step will be uh, double reverse Correct. and zigzag. This is a really, really tough step. We spend a lot of time making sure we are doing it uh, very, very precisely. So those steps, for the lady, I think the, the most important part is to do the heel turn correctly. Yes, and uh, Lilia is going to show you a few things on that. And then for the man, we really have to feel where our uh, lady is and make sure again we rotate and we put her in the correct position here So just very very quickly I, I would like to show the rotations before Lilia will uh, show you guys shoulder leads So I would like it. Uh, I would like to do it back in the camera uh, in contact. Yeah, so from here and I have to already start uh, again commencing my uh, turn on my right foot so I prepare my rotation here as I'm going forward I put Lilia on her right foot and I keep on going forward rotate myself to the left around her and immediately here I keep on turning rotating to the left and then doing the zigzag yeah I have to say it's very challenging to do it so slowly. so slow, yes. But those two rotations to the left are essential here. Otherwise, it makes it impossible for a lady to do uh, the heel turn and the lead is not as strong. Yes, so uh, heel turn. the main reason for me to do a heel turn, for you ladies to do a heel turn, is two things. So first is rotation on the previous step that we both do in our rib cages, and second is rise. So we must rise before we allow our feet to collect uh, to make that heel turn possible. So after the hesitation change, yep. after the hesitation change, when we're going backwards, we start rotating to the left. So you can see as uh, rib cage is going to rotate to the left into that first step. I'm going to show you this way. So I'm going backwards and really rotating that upper body. Now I'm going to finish the step and rise. Please notice, ladies, how the foot is not being collected yet. So the foot is staying a little bit um, in front. Under, but a little bit in front. Now I'm going to continue to take my body to the left in order for the heel turn to happen. Then I'm going to change weight and I'm going to go forwards and cross. All right, so that's going to be a double reverse. Cool. Now, if I'm going to demonstrate with Yaroslav... And the same for the zigzag when you're doing Yes, right? let me do the double reverse first. So, if we do the double reverse, we're going to go back, rotate to the left, rise, that collects my feet, and then we do a side step and cross. Same for zigzag, very similar beginning. We step back, rotate, rise, that collects our feet together, and then notice how we change weight, create a shoulder lead, when we are preparing the next outside partner. So that is going to allow me to go into the lockstep part and we keep that shoulder lead for the running finish part. Yep. Yeah, so, very good. Yeah, we are almost done here. Running finish will start an outside partner as well and it finishes with a shoulder lead preparing for the next outside partner. Now the last important point we would like to mention here as I've previously uh, said is uh, redirection. So in order to do that, thing number one, you have to really know your choreography and directions well and then make sure that you start redirecting yourself ahead of time. So I just will show you a few very, uh, you know, very simple uh, steps here. Uh, starting from quarter turn basically. So as I'm doing this uh, quarter turn, if I am not aware of my next step here or my next step here, then I, I, there is a real, real chance that I will be off time because I will be just keep moving forward 
and I will not redirect myself early enough. So the million dollar question is, when do I really have to start redirecting? We really strongly recommend you to start redirecting when you are in between two feet on the previous step, from the step where you are changing your direction. So for example, quarter turn is a very simple step. It's easy to do it here. So we are going slow, I'm in between two feet. So I already feel that I have, I, I already try to rotate here. And now from this central balance position, I redirect myself and I'm moving backwards already. Now again, I'm going backwards here. Now I redirect myself going forward already. So how do I redirect myself? Uh, it's really up to how you move your body weight. And so your spine, you always can do this simple exercise. You move your spine forward, backwards. Again, forward ball of the foot, backwards towards the heel. This is something that has to happen all the time when you are on your foot and it will help you uh, to redirect. All right, guys, thank you so much. We hope you enjoy our lecture. Of course, there are many things that we can mention here, but me and Lilia, we just picked up those uh, three things to keep it simple and we hope it will make difference in your dancing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.